Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pig. It's Mr. Nick. Yay! Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Mr. Nick Show, and I'm your host, Mr. Nick, and this is my co-host, Allie. Hi. Today, we're having another episode in our Outer Space series, and today, it's all about the moon. Let's get started. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite. Now, what does that mean? That means that it orbits around Earth. Now, did you see our sun episode where we talked about how Earth orbits around the sun? Well, the moon orbits around Earth, and it's the only moon that we have. Now, you may think, well, yeah, obviously, there are some planets that have over 70 or even over 80 satellites or moons. That's a lot of moons. But our moon that we see here on Earth is the fifth largest moon in the solar system. So that means that all the other moons, all those other planets, we have the fifth largest one. It takes 27.3 days for the moon to orbit around Earth. So that's almost a month, right? So that's basically four weeks for the moon to make it one full time around Earth. Now, how far is the moon from Earth? What's well, about 239,000 miles? And that's a long way, but it's a lot closer than the 93 million miles Earth is from the sun, if you saw the sun episode. How do we get to see the moon if it's out there in outer space? Well, the moon is lit up by the sun. That's right. So the moon is basically a gigantic rock in outer space, but the sunlight hits the moon and lights it up, which is how we can see it here on Earth. Sometimes you can see the moon during the day. Well, how's that happen? Well, the moon is actually above the Earth's horizon, so we could actually potentially see the moon for up to 12 hours a day, but we can only really see it for maybe six hours, seven hours at night because all other hours of the day, the sunlight that lights up our sky is just too powerful for us to see the moonlight shining through. So the moon is actually in our sky for half the day. We just can't actually see it most of the time that it's up there. Now, if you take a look at the moon, you see all those craters and divots and just rocky shape stuff. Well, the moon doesn't have an atmosphere to protect it from other things in outer space, so comets and asteroids over time have hit the moon, creating those craters. And did you know that we've actually had people go to the moon? Yeah, 1969, the first man to step on the moon was Neil Armstrong, and he went with Buzz Aldrin. They're the first guys to land on the moon. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's what he said when he stepped onto the moon for the first time. Now, did you know that the moon kind of goes through different phases each month? And the moon itself doesn't really change, but how much of the moon we can actually see does change, right? So a new moon, if you ever noticed you go outside and where's the moon? I don't see it. Where'd it go? We can't see it because of the way that the moon orbits around Earth and rotates, we can't actually see the moon sometimes, and that's called a new moon. The next phase is a waxing crescent. Take a look at the picture, and you can see how the waxing crescent, you can see that little sliver of the moon. And then you get the first quarter moon, and then a waxing gibbous, and then a full moon. We all know what a full moon is, right? So you can see the whole thing. And then after that, you get a waning gibbous. And then the last quarter or third quarter moon. And then the waning crescent. A little sliver right there. Yeah, those are the different phases of the moon each and every month. And let's talk about a lunar eclipse. Now, we talked about a solar eclipse on the sun episode. Let's talk about a lunar eclipse. That is when the Earth is in between the sun and the moon. That's blocking the sun's light from reaching the moon. 
Now, unlike a solar eclipse, this is actually pretty safe, or actually fully safe to look at, and it can last up to two hours. So that can make the, the moon look dimmer, and if it's fully, like the Earth is just perfectly in line, it gives it this orangish color called the blood moon. Pretty cool looking. And this only happens when it's a full moon, just so you know. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed learning all about the moon. And I learned something, I learned a lot actually, but you know when you see the moon during the day, like how, why is it still there? I learned, I did not actually know the moon was above the horizon for 12 hours a day. That's surprising. We just didn't, can't see it because of the sunlight. Sometimes though, I have seen it during the day and I always think it's kind of weird. Yeah, maybe the sunlight that day is just not that bright for whatever reason. I don't know, but I learned a lot today. I hope you guys did too. I hope you enjoyed it. And now it's time for the joke of the day. All right, Allie, are you ready? Ready. How do you know when the moon has had enough to eat? I don't know. When it's full. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a good one. All right, guys, I hope you liked this episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That way you can see all the other episodes that we're gonna do about outer space and all the other great episodes that we're doing. See you guys next time. Bye. Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pick. It's Mr. Nick, yay.